staying warm as a nomad. When you're out boondocking or in the city, it really doesn't matter. You need to stay warm and winter's coming. And in Reno, it is very cold in the morning. So what I wanna do is I wanna show you all the things that I use to stay warm, because I do stay very warm. I was in Ohio during that Arctic blast. It was like 16, 17 degrees that one morning. Um, and I stayed cozy. Of course, once I got outside, it was very cold. But inside my rig, I stayed um, very cozy. So first of all, I'm going to start with showing you what I would wear during the day. I have a few of these. These are, these are actually cycle gloves, bicycle gloves. Um, I like to keep my hands, my fingers free. They also sell those gloves that you can use your devices with, but they cover your fingers. So be on the lookout for those. So I'm gonna start with, like I said, what I have, my gloves. Now this is that new, it's called Turtle Fur, and I could not find a link for it. They didn't put um, the, uh, the ASIN um, scan thing on there. So I'll keep looking, but it's called Turtle Fur. I've got it doubled over. And then I've got this on. This is the um, Climate Right fleece shirt. It has for the thumb. The thumb can go around it, which is nice. Because it brings, what it does is it brings it down over your hands and it holds it there. Really soft, super. Yeah. And it goes long too. Now these are fleece lined climate right these this is a frigid temp and it's got fleece in there and this is a um a medium and then i have leg warmers on earlier today i wore this vest really nice I got it last year it has pockets here it zips all the way up to my neck let me do this pockets here I like it that my arms can be out I'm not so tightened up and then in here on each side is a really deep pocket I can put my iPhone in there I bought this last year at Walmart I like Walmart clothes if you get there the beginning of the season like I said you can find the really good stuff so we'll put this here and then of course you're gonna want your hats I have had this for years it's a beret um, and I also want to talk about socks. This brand is called Danish, Danish Endurance. It's merino wool. And I like it too. They've got that thing that goes around your, your foot to kind of hold it there. I think I've mentioned before, I don't carry... A lot of socks I probably have about five or six socks um, they're expensive I also get my socks at REI very durable with really nice. this is great padding so if you buy cheap socks but you say well I'll get cheap socks and I'll just buy new what you're doing is you're just wearing crap socks all the time and you're just rotating these last years so you might as well have comfortable socks. Just spend the money right away for really good socks. These are pretty cool in the winter, in the summer too. I mean, merino wool, it wicks um, a sweat away from you. So yeah, there's my socks. Now this is my actual jacket. I did buy this, it's fleece. It's real soft, it's soft like this. Whereas this is like, um, almost like a lamb's, well, it's, it's real puffy and yeah. But this is real smooth and soft. This is a jacket. Um, 
it's called Camel Crown. And this is for when it's really cold. And look at this. This I, I really I thought this one out. It has it's not tight, but it keeps wind from going inside your arm. Now, if you're going to be like up in Wyoming, where it's 17 degrees all the time, you're going to want better, you know. But for where I'm going in the morning, and I also, this is a good time to mention, it's best to layer your clothes because it's going to be really cold in the early morning. As the morning progresses, it'll warm up a little bit to where you're kind of taking it off. You might actually, uh, down in Arizona, you're boondocking down there. It's going to be... Uh, a, a, a short sleeve shirt weather by afternoon. This is really nice. Let's see here. Let's Pockets. Zip. And it also has so you can tighten it up so that air won't get under your waist and then it zips all the way up yeah let's see Woo. a little tight yeah. I like this jacket in here also our deep pockets. Each side. When I pulled my back out the other day and I got everything out and I got under there, under that place where I kept my winter clothes, these are the things I got out. So this is going to be considered morning, early morning attire. Your jackets, your, your neck gaiters, gloves, everything. I also have these, and I did get them from Amazon. Um, I actually, I lost one. I lost one glove, and I ordered another pair. I liked them so well. But these, I used these gloves. Let's see. Yeah. I used these gloves for driving. Because that steering wheel can get cold. A steering wheel can get cold. They're really nice. I can leave the link for it. I don't think I actually left the link. Very comfortable. Aren't they rich? Oh my goodness. Yeah, I like these. I like them so much that when I lost one, I forget where I was, but I lost it. And um, yeah. Okay, yes. I love these gloves. Yes. <laughs> oh, little heart. Um, and they're so comfortable. And they're lined. What are they lined with? Yeah. I think it's fleece lined. I just keep them in the box. I only, and I, um, I'll keep them handy for when I drive. If you get out there in the morning and you have to drive, you need something for your hands. Let me put these on. These are nice too because I, I bought these at Walmart. I saw them. They were on sale for like $1.50. They were in the clearance thing. I'm like, oh my gosh. Um, it's nice because it protects my hands from bumping and there's actual padding on here. This is padding for you holding the um, bicycle handles. So I like these. So this is still for day, keeping warm during the morning, during the day. You saw that I bought this. This is really fluffy. <laughs> Fluff's coming up. Yeah. And I got that one pocket here yeah so I like this got my chair out now this I just keep around for warmth um, it's a nice cardigan sweater like if I was gonna go to church or it's gonna go and I wanted to look nice but I did um, this is super soft and you put this through the wash and it just comes out perfect but um I was the manager at Wendy's in, in Ohio, my first um, fast food job ever, <laughs> but I thought it'd be fun, and it was. Um, Wendy's. Yeah. yeah. But um, as a manager, they gave me one. 
it would get cold in there. But uh, yeah, I uh, I kept it and and it really does look nice. It looks kind of you know like you look like you're a little bit dressed up. And then of course I keep my fl a flannel shirt. These are nice. Um, I had a few of them when I lived in a house. I do like flannel shirts, but when you're a nomad, you have to, you know, you can't be taking it, your whole wardrobe. You have to kind of pick and choose. And this is a nice one. It's got two buttons on there. So if you want it really tight or not, you tuck this on. So this is when, yeah, these are easy. You can just, for layering, this is easy. Just wear this and then have your flannel shirt on. Um, and then it's easy to take off. Now, I don't know if you, um, I think you've seen uh, how I put my clothes away. I roll them. I don't really fold them. I roll them. They, they're thus wrinkled. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, I roll my clothes. And of course I've got my favorite turtleneck. Oh, this is just a mock turtleneck. I'm kind of a turtleneck person, but now that I have these neck gaiters, I don't always have to uh, spend extra money for uh, turtleneck shirts. And then I, I just fold every, I roll everything. Okay, now I want to show you uh, shoes. Um, one of you asked about my boots. These are called Voss. V A S Q U E. I'll put it. I'll put it up. Vosk. Um, but that's the brand I like, and you know why I like it so well? Is because they um, they have many wide shoes available. Whereas some shoes like REI, they have like three um, uh, three of their choices you can get in wide, and then they've got all these other choices in in regular or narrow. No, I like wide shoes. I want my feet to be comfortable. I don't want them squeezed in. I'm not that kind of a gal that puts her feet into like high heels or trying to think to all, uh, small feet are so uh, attractive. No, I like to have my paws in something comfortable. These are Vosk. They're, I spent the money for them. They're waterproof. They go up on my ankle, very warm. So I wanted to show these to you. Now for my bed clothes. I keep them in here. I don't always wear these, but when it starts getting colder at night, I will. This is, I got these at Walmart. It's the same climate right, climate right. But these are the um, frigid series for frigid weather. And I did get large on these because I want to be able to move around. I don't want to be all confined up um, when I'm sleeping. If I have to go in my sleeping bag and it's really cold, I put these on and then go in. This is the shirt. And these are the pants. I did get large on these because I wanted to move around. They're a little large for me, but hey, <laughs> if I'm warm, I'm warm. And then, yeah, these are large. They're really big, but... They're fleece lined in here. And then this material keeps out, the outer material um, keeps out. These are made for frigid weather. They also have one more series. It's called Expedition. And I think those are like for really, really like going up to what, Mount Everest Expeditions? Yeah. So, okay, so this is what I wear at night. Put on a pair of socks. It's really cold. I might put on my neck gaiter. Yeah. I do have some scarves and I do have other hats that I wear. I actually have like a ski mask too. You know, it's like the people that would put on when they go uh, rob a bank just see eyes and the, and the mouth stick out <laughs> yellow over the mouth. I have a pair of those if it's really bad. You know, like if I'm walking around and it's really, really cold, I'll put that on. But it always reminds me of somebody robbing a bank or something. But I had those. And I've got a couple knit things, little caps that I put on.
so these are my clothes, my day clothes and my night clothes um, for cold weather. My hoodie. Everybody has a hoodie, <laughs> I think. Yes, my hoodie. Um, it's, it's not totally brand new and I have so many other nicer um, warm jackets to wear uh, that I almost gave this away. But then I thought, oh no, I'll keep it back here. If I'm out and about and all of a sudden I'm cold or I want to put something on, I can just open up back here. I don't have to get inside my van. So I'm going to keep this back here, easy access for when I'm outside. When I am in a very cold environment, I am probably going to put on those pajamas and I'm going to crawl inside my sleeping bag instead of on top of it. So that means I'm not going to have as many layers under me so this is where this pad is going to come into play i've been carrying it back i haven't been using it for a little while because i like sleeping on my sleeping bag now so i want to show this to you rei it's wide I got a wide one and a long one. It's probably a little too long for my minivan, the space that I have, um, but I like it. And it's got the valve. It's a self-inflating. Yeah. So you just pull this out and open up the valve and it will fill up. What I have heard a lot of people do is they lay on top of it and just open it up and it will fill up to where they like it. I've not experienced that. Uh, so I actually blow into it to, get, to pump it up. And then I close off the valve where I like it uh, when I was using it. Well, when it's really cold and I use my sleeping bag, I'm probably going gonna, gonna to get this out and start using it again so that I'm a little bit more comfortable under me. Yeah, so it's a little bit softer. And just, and then when I'm done, at the end of, the, um, when I wake up in the morning, I open up the valve and I start rolling it up and I kind of sit on, I kind of put my knees on it as I roll it up to get all the air out of it so I can roll it up. Now, for those of you who have a build-out bed, you don't have to do that. I don't, I don't have the build-out and I, roll up my um, sleeping pads and everything and put all my bedding away for the day so that I have my area inside my minivan available to do other things. Sit down, make coffee, whatever. But a lot of you, and I just use this bungee to keep it over. And then what I've been doing it, um, during this time when I'm not using, I put it in some bags just to keep it nice. Yeah. This was about $100 at REI, but I think it's worth it to get a really nice one. Because if you don't buy nice things, um, I mean, you can buy lower cost things if they're really good. But if they're not, you're just going to end up spending more money eventually by replacing them. So I wanted to show you that. I wanted to show you these Buckeyes. Um, remember those, those twin Buckeyes? <laughs> they were twins. I pulled them out of their... Um, the little womb, a little seed uh, pod. I wanted to show you how they're, they're kind of, let me see if you can see, they're kind of going in. They're drying up just a little bit. But look at the top. Look what it's doing on the top. Doesn't that look, it's like a chocolate little thing that like is dipped in chocolate and this little thing like a, a, a Hershey's Kiss. <laughs> yeah. And that's amazing. And the twin, the same. <laughs> Isn't that cute? In the morning when it's really cold, I have put on my day clothes. I'm going to make coffee after I make coffee. If the stove doesn't heat up the inside enough, and I'm just sitting in here, it's way cold outside, I am going to get my Mr. Heater going. Let me see where it is. Mr. Heater. Yes. This one is a golf cart series and it comes with a cup holder adapter so you can put it in a cup holder but not a good idea because not in your minivan because I noticed it puts it up about this high with the cup holder 
it's way too close to the ceiling here. It's way too close. It could catch a fire. So, and I've noticed, I, anybody who uses them notices these small ones. Most of the heat actually comes from, um, comes up the top. It comes in here, but it comes up through here. So, I know I've shown this before, but I'm going to show it again. I am going to put this together for you. They also have another series. It it's, comes with a stand. Get that one. Do not get the golf cart small one. So what I had to do is get a holder. I got this on Amazon. And it has these. It actually makes it more stable. So I really am glad that I have this. Yeah. It's almost like a Christmas tree holder. But it keeps it stable. So I'm going to show you how to get this going. Now what I do is I turn it on. I crack the window. It doesn't have to be very. I won't be using this one. I'll probably be using one of these two. And I'll just crack it ever so small because it's a long ways and that's enough air to go through. And I'll turn it on and then when it, it, it gets toasty really quickly. But if it's really cold, I don't take it down. I just shut it off and leave it off to the side because I may need to come back in here and warm up again. And wait, I don't have to put it all together again. So I'm going to put the camera down and show you how I put this together. I just make it tight by my hands, you know, hand tight. Turn it over. Press down, put it in the stand. There we go. Now, this presses, you got to press it kind of hard. And then you can see in there that it started the pilot. This button here is you just press it quickly it just it's real easy and it shuts it off quickly now it also has a sensor if it tips at all it will shut off but be careful just because it shuts off if you've had it on for a while this is going to be really hot and if there's plastic near it could burn it so let's get this going There we go. I can see in there the pilot. The pilot is lit. I can see it. And we'll start seeing this get red. This will start getting red. I can feel the heat. Some of you asked where, um, where I bought my blankets. I bought them in Mexico. I did. They're really nice. I washed them so many times. They're very, very durable. So, yeah. There are other types of uh, Mexican blankets. Some are thinner, but I spent more money. These are very thick. I doubled these over. They're very thick. They're very colorful. As you can see, it's... Oops. I tipped it. Starting to get a little red. It's going to get warm in here. Now, I'm not going to keep going, but it is starting to get warm. It's going to really get really red. What you do is just click it like that. The pilot is off. Yay. And you just take it apart the same way. You just take it apart the same way. You let it cool off. I'm going to let it cool. It didn't get that hot. But, yeah, I mean, I like it. it, it this has served me well. Now, one of you mentioned um, that when you put propane on that you should always spray it with soapy water. I've never heard of any nomad doing that. I probably won't do it because I know that. I mean, I could feel. Um, I don't think most guys do that. Um, 
you know, yeah. But thanks for the tip. Thanks for the tip. Now, I also mentioned that your stove can help warm up. And a lot of people use their stove, whether it be propane or butane, like that. One of you asked me, it looks like a lot of work, you know, putting that hose in there and hooking it each time when I'm going to use the propane part of it. Well, they go, why did you get it? Why don't you just use a butane? Two reasons. One is you could run out of butane. Um, actually, butane can be hard to find at times, especially peak camping seasons. And um, like when I go to Quartzite or, and I go to the park or Walmart, there's going to be so many other nomads getting ready to go to Quartzite on BLM land that they're going to buy up whatever they can. So it's going to be hard to find. That way, I, if I can't find the butane and I've run out, I also have propane. Another reason is because if it's really, really cold, I think it's like below 32 degrees, the butane won't come out. In, in really um, cold weather, this will not work. But what you can do if you don't have, just put it like in a warm spot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> put on your coat and put it next to you and warm it up. If you warm it up to blow, then you can get it to go. But you have to warm the bot this can up. That's why I got the tool. Here we go. Take it out of the stand. Fold it up. I don't want these to ever break. Take the time to fold them up. And with this, I, mean, I just unscrew it. There we go. Put the lid back on it. And put it away. Okay. I just like to give you different views so you can really get an idea of my minivan. I mean, it really is. And I'm not even at the end there. The light is coming through. Woo! <laughs> I got some things out there. I don't want anybody to walk around. I'm at a park to steal them. But yeah, so I'm in here. Okay, so now I want to show you my sleeping bag. Okay. This is where I keep it. It's just a nice, I just discovered it. Oh, wow, that fits in there really nice. I'm going to pull it out. I want to show you. Um, oh. Okay, I'm going to show you the sleeping bag. It's a minus 25. Let's see, get this up here. It's a minus 25. That means, I mentioned before, I'll say it again. Um, it means, the way they're rated is, it means that you're not going to die if it's minus 25 degrees. If you're inside this at night, or whenever. Um, you're not going to be comfortable, <laughs> but you're not going to die. So, I know people that actually even took the time to buy like a minus 35. Boy, that was nice padding too to sleep on. Um, yeah. They use theirs for, a lot of people use theirs for padding. And I wanted to show you how this works. Okay, this is opening. There's two levels here. Two layers, two levels. Let me open these up. Okay. Here's the zipper. It says minus 25. It's Velcro. Okay. So you can unzip it. And then when you zip it up, you get in, you zip it up, and you Velcro it. It isn't going to go anywhere. Okay. Now. You're crawling inside. There you go. You're inside. There's, this is the first level. This is your second. This is the outer level. This is your inner level. Let me bring this down so you can see. Okay. No. There's that light coming through. Um, 
This is going to be for around your neck. And it has its own string. So once you get in it, you pull this tight and it gets it up around your neck. In here also is Velcro. So you can Velcro this. So it won't go anywhere. It'll stay right there. And then this is going to be the outer level. It also has its own string. And this is going, your head can be in here. And this, and so the only thing sticking out is going to be your face. Then you want to zip this up. Oh, there. Zip it up. Put the bun, put the, you know. So only your face sticks out here. Believe me, this is warm. <laughs> yeah. And this is the foot. I can't stand those mummy ones. The ones that go down and you feed it on the, oh no. I do not want it to be like, <laughs> like in a, in a vice or whatever. This is extra wide. I got this extra wide. It is this and my feet. I'm a side sleeper. I need to go back and forth, back and forth. So, this is a Tetan minus 25 sleeping bag. Two levels of pulling, one for your neck and one from around your head. They're both separately um, adjustable. Now I've got the link in my video description and it's called Tetan Sleeping Bag, Minus 25 Sleeping Bag. Let me just explain this. If you use my link and you put it in your cart or you buy it right away, but or if you put it in your cart, you have to buy it within 24 hours or I won't get anything. But if you do buy it right away or you put it in your cart and you buy it within 24 hours, I will get a small commission. I have no idea how much, but I know it's not that big. But it, it does help with making videos, my time spent, things like that. I don't ask you guys to support me, but this is a way you can do it without actually giving me money. Yeah. So you get something out of it too. Now let me explain this. If you go in and you look through my link or any of my links, and you decide, well, you saw something you like better. Well, guess what? If you buy something else right away that you've gone through my link with, and or you put it in your cart and you buy it within 24 hours, I still get, even if it, it wasn't this item, as long as you went through it and you were in there shopping and put something, you buy it or you put it in your cart and then 24 hours later you uh, purchase it, yeah. I get a little bit. So I just wanted to explain how that works to you. And don't forget that they have those 30 day free trials on Amazon Prime. If you don't have Amazon Prime, I get a commission on that. I get a bonus on that. And also some of those other things that are in there. Also um, Audible. I, if you don't have audible.com, you should. Um, it's a 30-day trial, and guess what? You get two free audiobooks. They have everything. In Audible, it's owned by Amazon. It's everything. I used to actually be a member. It was like $15 a month, and I got two books a month. I had quite a few books. Um, now I kind of go to the library, but what if you don't really want to get charged after 30 days? What I do is if I do a membership, a free trial, I do it. I click yes and I do it, offer my information, and then I go right into the system and I uh, cancel it. And they'll give you a note to say, oh, okay, well, um, you're still good. We, we'll, it'll, you're, everything's going to be canceled at this day, three days later. But you still have access to all of this. So I would go into audible.com, go through my link, please, because I get a little bonus for that. Or to go on, go on audible.com, you can listen on your phone, you can listen while you're in the car, you can listen to audiobooks, whether they be fiction, non-fiction, uh, oy vey shmeow, they have everything. And then, um, after you do that, just cancel it, just cancel it, seriously. I also want to show you, um, if, I'm, if it's really cold, but not cold enough to go inside my sleeping bag, 
I've got the red ones are wool blankets. They're wool. Too very, very, very warm. And then these are two fleece blankets. I could put four, even this one's uh these are my pillows. But I could put five layers of blankets on. I would have to go in my sleeping bag. Going inside my sleeping bag is for when it's really it's frigid cold. That's how I stay warm. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I really do.